So we're here at the Letterkenny Army Depot in South Central Pennsylvania near Chambersburg. Nearly 20,000 acres of facilities have been around for more than 80 years and shortly after the beginning of World War II. Ever since then, they've done maintenance and repair on major Army uh, platforms such as the Nike missiles, the Avenger missiles, and for more than 30 years now, the Patriot missile system, uh, which has been key from everything from the Persian Gulf War to modern day, still being used actively across combat zones across the globe. Now, while the Patriot is almost 40 plus years old, it still has got some more years left in it. And this place maintains, sustains, and repairs specifically the Patriot, but also other systems such as the Hellfire, different power generation systems, and future systems coming online to replace the Patriot and others. Here at Letterkenny, we are the Air Missile Defense Depot, Long Range Precision Fire. We also do power generation, force provider, force sustainment, and all of the support systems that go with those weapon systems. So our artisans are multifunctional, multi-skilled. They do mechanical, electrical, and a lot of allied trades work as well. We have to be our own fabricators. We provide both electrical and mechanical pieces to support our production lines. Letterkenny has a long history. Uh, we, are, we have been an Ordnance Depot for 80 plus years. Uh, we started out as the Nike Missile Depot, and because Nike came with electronics, we started to repair electronics. As we transitioned from Nike, we transitioned to the Hawk missile, and from the Hawk missile to the Patriot missile. We've been the Patriot missile provider for roughly 30 years now for the Army, and we're preparing to transition to the Army's next lower tier air defense system, which is the Integrated Battle Command System and the lower tier air missile defense radar sensor. Our artisan's about 1,200 strong. We currently support a peacetime joint force for air missile defense, power generation and ground systems. However, that workforce is able to surge up in a time of war. So, you know, right now, thank God, we're a, a nation at peace. Uh, if we go to war, we're able to transition those skills and use our factory's capacity to surge and provide surge capability, surge sustainment capability for the warfighter. So one unique thing about our artisan workforce is that we have both a large percentage of former military, about 40% of our workforce served uh, across the military. Um, we also have a multi-generational workforce. And so, you know, we have families that have worked here at the depot over our 80 year history and fathers and sons, mothers and daughters, they're deeply tied to the warfighter community. They are driven by purpose. They are public servants. We are a government-owned, government-operated organization. Um, many of our employees are former uh, serving members of our military services, um, and, and we really have benefited from the fact that they are problem solvers. So a lot of people don't understand why the depots still exist. Honest, to be honest, I was in the Army for 12 years. I'd never even heard of a depot. I didn't understand what it was. People that have heard of depots think it's someplace that you send your equipment after it's been out in the field for 20 years. We are so much more than that. Um, really, we are the warm industrial base for the Department of Defense. So we're able to keep those skills warm in peacetime so that we can prepare for war and ramp up into our, our surge capability. So we carry the surge capability for the Department of Defense as well. And why you can't have find that in uh, industry and our commercial partners is because they're all about new manufacturing. They don't have, uh, they don't carry necessarily surge capability. What they carry is production that generates profit. Here at the depot, we're, we're driven by purpose. And so we try to make sure that we're providing a quality product to our warfighter and that we're maintaining those core skills throughout our artisan workforce so that when the nation calls, we are prepared and ready to answer. And we've done that time and time again.